Welcome to Happy English. Let's get better at listening and speaking. It will be fun and a little challenging. Let's start. Welcome to Mythology Matters, the channel where we explore the fascinating stories and characters of ancient myths. In this episode, we will introduce you to Hephaestus, the Greek god of fire, metallurgy, and crafts. Hephaestus was one of the twelve Olympian gods who lived on Mount Olympus, the highest mountain in Greece and the home of the gods. He was the son of Zeus, the king of the gods, and Hera, the queen of the gods. However, he had a very troubled relationship with his parents, who were not very fond of him because he was born lame and deformed. According to some versions of the myth, Hera was so disgusted by his appearance that she threw him off Mount Olympus as soon as he was born. Hephaestus fell for a whole day and night until he landed on the island of Lemnos, where he was rescued and raised by the local people. Hephaestus grew up to become a brilliant blacksmith and craftsman who learned how to forge metal with fire and create all kinds of wonderful and useful objects. He built his workshop under a volcano where he used the heat and smoke to power his tools and machines. He had several assistants who helped him with his work, such as the Cyclopes, who were one-eyed giants, and the Automatons, who were self-moving metal statues that he had made himself. Hephaestus made many amazing things for the gods and goddesses of Olympus, such as their houses, their weapons, their armor, and their jewelry. He also made some special gifts for some mortals who were favored by the gods, such as the winged helmet and sandals for Hermes, the messenger god, and the armor for Achilles, the greatest hero of the Trojan War. Some of his most famous creations include the Aegis, a shield that belonged to Zeus and Athena which had the head of Medusa on it and could cause fear and panic in their enemies. The Golden Fleece, a fleece that belonged to a magical flying ram that was sent by Zeus to rescue Phrixus and Helle from their evil stepmother. The fleece was later sought by Jason and the Argonauts in their quest. Pandora, the first woman in Greek mythology who was made by Hephaestus out of clay at the request of Zeus. She was given a jar that contained all the evils of the world which she opened out of curiosity and unleashed them on humanity. The Necklace of Harmonia, a necklace that Hephaestus made for Harmonia, the daughter of Aphrodite and Ares, as a wedding gift. However, he cursed it so that it would bring misfortune to anyone who wore it or inherited it. The Throne of Hera, a throne that Hephaestus made for his mother Hera as a trap. He was angry at her for rejecting him and wanted to humiliate her in front of the other gods. He made the throne so that when Hera sat on it, she would be stuck and unable to get up. He only agreed to release her after Dionysus got him drunk and brought him back to Olympus. Hephaestus was also involved in some romantic affairs, although he was not very lucky in love. He was married to Aphrodite, the goddess of love and beauty, but she was unfaithful to him and had many lovers behind his back. One of them was Ares, the god of war, who was Hephaestus's brother and rival. Hephaestus once caught them in bed together by setting a net over them and exposing them to the other gods. He also had other consorts besides Aphrodite, such as Aglia, one of the Charites or Graces who represented beauty and elegance. He had several children with his various partners, such as Talia, Arachthonius, Euclea, Euphemi, Philophrosyne, Kiberi, and Euthenia. Hephaestus was respected by the other gods for his skills and talents, but he was also mocked and ridiculed for his physical appearance and disability. He often walked with a limp or used a cane to support himself. He was also associated with volcanoes and earthquakes, which were seen as signs of his anger or activity. He was worshipped by many people in ancient Greece, especially those who worked with metal or fire, such as blacksmiths, artisans, sculptors, miners, potters, etc. He had several temples and shrines dedicated to him throughout Greece and beyond. Hephaestus is one of the most interesting and complex characters in Greek mythology. He represents both creativity and destruction, both beauty and ugliness, both strength and weakness. He shows us that even the gods have flaws and suffer from pain and rejection, but they can also overcome them and achieve greatness. He also reminds us that fire is a powerful and versatile element that can be used for good or evil depending on how we use it. We hope you enjoyed this introduction to Hephaestus, the Greek god of fire. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos on mythology matters. Thank you for watching and see you next time.